Hi, this is Dave from DNA Reptilia. We got a long video ahead with our clutch number seven. We got the egg cutting and after shed update all in one video because there's something a little special about our raven bee that I'm gonna tell you in this video. Okay, like I said in the intro, we got a long video ahead. I apologize for the length of the video. It was going to be just a cutting video, but something happened in the video that was completely unexpected. We had no idea this was going to happen. When we purchased the female last year, we had no idea what could happen with her. She is a raven bee. Well, to what we thought was a raven bee. There is raven and there is spider in there. There's so one other gene that we didn't see coming. I'm still going to call her Raven Bee for the beginning of this video. Because of two of the genes in Raven Bee, we got the outcome that we got. And I got to thank Justin Kabolka at JKR Reptiles, or JK Reptiles, uh, with his work with not the Raven gene, but something that is similar to it, which is the chocolate. The chocolate and the Raven is to believe to be the same gene, but just like the hurricane, the trick, and the blitz, you can't really prove that they're the same, but you can prove they are allelic. All right, enough talking for right now at the beginning of the video, let's get to the egg cutting, and we'll see you at the end of the egg cutting. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. This pairing was a super blade male to a raven bee. Yeah, I just poured a bunch of water on the eggs. At this stage of the game, they're fine. This one? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh yeah. he. he <laughs> Did you see the egg moving? It was very active, we'll say. Yeah, this one's ready. Well, they should all be blade. That looks spider. It's filling the egg. We'll have to compare once they're all out. But yeah, it looks like it has spider sides mm. and patterning. But spider and blades as individual genes look similar, so. But it's not a raven, then, mm. which is for sure. This one? That one, I should say. Yeah. Yep. Snake's alive. I always like it when they give a little feedback. Ooh, I think that's the spider blade. Very much reduction in pattern. Mm -hmm. That could be a spider blade. It doesn't matter. Um. So, um want to see how blade reacts with other genes before I pick a true path with what I want to do with blade. Mm. 
this. Could be a raven. Raven blade. Yeah. Wow. It does look different. Oh, well, it's I mean, definitely yeah. The yeah. Pa the patterning is totally different. It is more of a chocolatey brown. All I need now is a all jean. All jean, yeah. So we hit single jean. Well, we hit none of these are single jean. It shouldn't be. Well, one might be the one that's just blade. You're thinking? Yeah, very possible. Now, I'm, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking right here, I think a lot of bees have pastel, but some don't. I'm going to have to look to see if raven bee is raven, spider, and pastel. Some more. Mm. What? What? That is sick. Yes, that spider blade. Oh. <laughs> That's what the... That's what the second one was. Yeah. That's a better look at it. Wow. Interesting. It is, actually. That's really cool. At least I'm hoping that normal looking one is Raven. squeezed that looks like bumblebee-ish oh looks like the first one we cut mm -hmm. spider oh hey, this one is oh, window theory Hmm. Come on. I want a male. I want a male raven. <laughs> that has to be blade. That has to be. The patterning on the back? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is a single gene spider. I mean, I'm trying to call that one an egg. Very, very, very similar. Do I got five spiders and one normal? <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. Hope not. But I have a couple young spiders to compare it to compare them to mm -hmm. now that you saw the egg cutting see something kind of weird happen in there there was two eggs that were well let's just say black and white at least in the egg um that's one reason why this video is taking so long to actually produce because i wanted to continue following up with them uh, after they came out of the egg and see how they looked um, see if my original thought was at play it's not um, I think I have a little clip shortly after they came out of the eggs and I'll roll that now alright I'm gonna do a little clutch update on clutch number seven before they go in the shed they're all out of the egg they're all looking good and healthy i'm back again now we're gonna do the actual update of them out of egg uh they've been out for about a week and a half now let's go over to the hashing rack and um 
see what we got normally and I will explain as I go what I figured out today about the Raven gene. Okay, here we are at the hatching rack. The pairing was Super Blade, which I'll put a picture of him here, paired to, to what we thought was a Raven B, which is just Raven and Spider. I'll put her picture right here. Now, I'll tell you what I thought these were at first. This one's fairly easy. It's a spider. Now, granted, my blade was the only one paired, so these should be spider blade. Notice there is no raven. Next one we have another spider. Should be spider blade. Notice there was no raven. This one also is a spider. Should be spider blade. Notice there's no raven. Now this guy has got the marker and has one of the markers for raven with the long tail stripe and it is a darker black but you notice there's no spider but it should be blade also with pattern reduction along the sides like keyholes now here is where it became kind of interesting the reason why we thought there was another gene at play and some other people have confirmed that when they look at the mother, they can see it. Here is one of the spiders that were was black and white in the egg. It should be a spider blade. But you notice it's a lot lighter. Well, What people have been saying to me the whole time, and I didn't want to believe it until the thought I had today, that, God, they, that looks like a bumblebee, you know, a pastel spider. The yellow is actually quite muted. So I was thinking it was Raven, along with Blade, that was muting the yellows along the side. That's a bumblebee. It's a muted pastel. But that's a bumblebee. Notice. It's not really that brown. Shouldn't be any raven. I'll explain why. And here's the second one. And I'm thinking Blade is actually bringing in some of the keyholes. And this is a bumblebee that we hatched previously. Fairly similar in coloration. Notice it's not really a brown in color like raven would be. What raven should add to a spider. But big butt. All right. Now that you saw all of them out of egg, I'm going to go back to the chair, relax and explain to you why what happened here. Okay. Now that you actually saw them out of the egg, that they've been out of the egg for the last week, <clears throat> week and a half or so, um, to what I just figured out today, mind you, like they've been out for a week and a half now. Um, nobody told me this, but because of what Justin Kapoka did with his um, Dark Knight, which is chocolate spot nose, clown. He found out that chocolate and spot nose are allelic. He got multiple different clutches of either chocolates or spot noses. To what we know, raven and chocolate, even if they're two completely separate genes, raven and chocolate, when you pair them together, they make like a super. You get a raven chocolate. No matter what, it'll, you will produce either ravens or chocolates and they're almost 
completely identical, I know. That means that they're on the same allele. Well, spot nose and spider are on the same allele. They're allelic. It's actually not a real good combo, neither. To my understanding, it, you get a really bad head wobble. <clears throat> There's other animals also that are on the same allele. And most of them, when you pair them together, you get not so good results. Except a few. Like when you pair up the chocolate with the spot nose, and then you throw a clown in there, you get a dark knight. Very beautiful snake. If spider is on the same allele as spot nose, and raven is on the same allele as chocolate, if you put, you know, the whole spot nose to ch uh, the chocolate, you get a good snake. Well, what if you take spider to raven, put them together? Well, you get another act like super with a different outcome. You notice on the mother, I'll post her here again, that her spider pattern is actually blown out. It's much broader. It's not real fine striped like a normal spider would be. So that, I do believe, is the Act Like Super version. Um, so when an Act Like Super produces eggs, you either get, or in this case, spider and raven, you will get either spiders or ravens. And since now we found out that pastel is in her, she is on the lighter side. The picture I'm showing is when she was full of eggs, so she's glowing a little bit more. But she is a lighter snake. Yeah, pastel was definitely in the mix. So we, she's technically a three-gene female, which is a pleasant surprise. Um, I will be pairing her up to our pastel clown this year to produce some hats. Well, it should be real easy to know what hats are actually raven because I'm going for raven hat clown. If I get a raven super pastel, that'll be pretty interesting. Um, if I get any super pastels, that'll be really interesting. Now I have the ability to get some. But still, spider, raven, they're allelic because chocolate and spot nose are allelic and that was just found out this year I bought our raven bee raven bumblebee last year well that was a pleasant surprise I got an allelic girl without even knowing about it if you have any questions comments or other insight please let us know leave a comment down below like share subscribe hit that bell notification see when we upload a next video so you'll be notified until then we'll talk to you later